Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here. Welcome back to something new on the channel. We're gonna play The Last Train Home. So this is based on obviously it's a fictional story in this, but it's based on a true story where after World War One, a bunch of I think Czech uh, troops took a train all the way to Siberia so they can easily get out of Russia because. I mean, a lot of the Civil War portion was happening in oh, Western Russia at the time in 1917. So they took a train out to Siberia, and attempt to get back to their homeland, the new Czechoslovakia. So we're going to start our journey and we will see what the last train home has for us. Now, I'm not particularly good at these kind of games, but... I'm going to take uh, middle, like middle of the road. We'll have the guides on. Uh, we'll keep everything normal. And we'll just keep everything normal with that. And we'll just, we'll keep everything back to uh, the fall. Okay, let's start our journey. I'm not particularly good at these games, so we are likely going to have some difficulty, but difficulty can be changed. So I, it's not the end of the world. If it proves too hard, we could just go back and uh, I can uh, fix it. Během velké války, které se později začalo říkat první světová válka, měla Československá legie za úkol bojovat jménem Ruska výměnou za podporu nezávislé Československé republiky. Válka si však vyžádala... Oh, hold on, what I'm gonna do... For the sake of our sanity... Is I'm going to... Have our audio language in English. Okay. Just so we all don't have to read text, uh, text, uh, subtitles. Cause I like to read them and listen to them at the same time, I guess. But, uh, yeah, obviously I don't know. Don't know Russian or Slovak or anything like that. During the great war later known as world war one, the Czechoslovak Legion was commissioned to fight on Russia's behalf in exchange for support for an independent Czechoslovak Republic. However, the Great War exacted tremendous loss of life and economic collapse in Russia, igniting a revolution that deposed the Tsar and devolved into a bloody civil war. The Bolsheviks established the Red Army to consolidate power and rule over a united Russia, whereas the White Army rallied to oppose the Reds. The Czechoslovak Legion was now in a very delicate position. An armed force in a foreign land with no clear allegiance to the Reds or Whites. Moreover, Russia's western borders were still held by powers opposing the establishment of Czechoslovakia. Thus, the Czechoslovak Provisional Government ordered the Legionaries to remain neutral and travel eastward to Vladivostok to board ships back to Europe. Nonetheless, during its evacuation via the Trans-Siberian Railway, the Legion became embroiled in armed conflicts affecting the course of the Russian Civil War. Now, we learn the story of The Last Train Home, a work of fiction inspired by the writings of a brilliant member of the Czechoslovak Legion and a veritable instrument of history. The story begins with an ambitious captain under the command of Major Gazdik who leads the last unit of Czechoslovak legionaries headed to Vladivostok by armored train. To give you more of a historical account, I believe it was, I don't remember what uh, division or anything like that, but the army, US army was in Siberia at the time, I believe, to assist the white Russians before they pulled out because well, revolution 50 miles from Alaska is alarming to, uh, to them at the time, so. Cheer up, Captain. The train needs a checkup and we can be on our way. I heard you bragged you'd be a better major than I am. So, let's see how well you do in command. 
Let's take a squad and go trade with the local miller, while the rest of the legionaries look after the train. Okay, so the edge of playable area is right here. Just to make it a bit smoother. There we go. I'm waiting. Okay. Understood. Move all selected units. Soldier selected panel. Okay. Notification and log. I'm guessing if something pops up, it'll pop up to me. Okay, I'm going. I'll see to it. We're of course going to check out the entire map. Understood. It is a map exploration game. Yes, sir. I smell smoke. That's not good. Hurry up. Moving. Mills are destroyed. Fortunately, it yes, seems sir. nobody was around to get hurt. Hurry and collect the sacks with food supplies before they burn too. I'll see to it. Ready? I'll pry it open then. Yes? War is over. Winter is coming. Who in their right mind would burn a flour mill? We have to talk to the miller. The farmhouse is nearby. Let's go. Okay, I'm going. Okay. Ready as I'll ever be. Your orders, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, I'll see to it. I'm waiting. Let's see what's in it. Say the w moving. Please, this is the miller's house. If someone is still alive in there, it is our duty to try and help. I'll see to it. Moving. The little right click. Orders, not a problem. Someone's lying there. Okay. Are I'm you going. here to kill me now? No, ma'am. We are Czechoslovak legionaries on our way to Vladivostok. We wanted to buy supplies from your mill, but found it burning. Who did this? Bolsheviks. They demanded we hand over our winter supplies in the name of Lenin. My son refused. We have a family to feed, he said. So they killed him. And the children. These soldiers are all the same. Killing and saw you know. Just leave and let me die in peace. If the Bolsheviks wanted food, why did they leave the sacks to burn with the mill? It was never about the food. This is what you get for refusing to collaborate with the Red Army. There's nothing here. I'm red moving. Understood. Yes, sir. I'll see to it. Yes. Assuming position. I'll see to it. Okay, I'm going. 
Yes, sir. Send someone with binoculars to that ledge. A scout. I'm all ears. Now, Captain. Yes. Taking cover. Look. It's the Reds who killed the Miller's family and burned everything. They deserve to die. Stand down, soldier. The Red Army will answer for crimes against their own country folk, but not to us. We are still in Russian lands and have a long way ahead of us. We don't want to be making enemies. Not to mention causing diplomatic incidents that endanger our new republic. <sighs> Enough chatter. Get back to the train. Maybe okay. we can find more supplies on the way. So I wonder if there's hidden objectives. I'm ready. I'll see to it. Okay, I'm going. Our soldiers haven't seen action for a while. How about some target practice on the scarecrows? Okay, let's see how this works. So green gives us cover. Taking aim. They're not scarecrows. They're stuffed witches. <laughs> Watch out for Baba Yaga, the mother of all witches. Less talking, more shooting. Understood. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'll see to it. Understood. Moving. Take that, Baba yes, Yaga. Sir. Okay, so how much fuel do we have? I'm waiting. Finders keepers. I can do that. See if that goes up or if that is attached to anything. I'm less okay, so that's my position. current inventory now yes sir right ho yes moving let's see what's there understood be right there Yes, sir. I'm here, right ho. Understood. Awaiting orders. Let's see what's in it. I'm listening. Oh, I could Assuming just loop position. that way. I'll see to it. Be right there. I think there was one around here somewhere. Understood. I'll see to it. No, I think we got it. Okay. Actually, no, there was one yes, back sir. here. I thought there was one like right around okay. here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I did pick it up. We legionaries leave no one behind. Bring the whole squad here before giving the command to leave. Okay. You're brave and resilient soldiers successfully complete all the main objectives. Okay. 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 
As you and the others board the train, empty-handed discussion ensues about the recent events. Some feel enraged, some uneasy. You were lost in thought about the experience of being in the command. Major Gazdik grabs you by the soldier, snapping you out of it. You did well, Captain, but you should stop bragging and start playing the role you hope for. Today you learned the bread and butter of commanding. Things never go the way you imagined. Yeah. Uh, a, a plan never... Never survives first contact. We shouldn't have just let the Reds leave. They should be, they should pay for their actions, killing people, stealing and destroying food. Our provisional government said we should avoid conflicts. We cannot go around passing sentences as we see fit. We need to file the orders. Because the situation is affected because Maximilian Depp is gaining trait intelligent. Okay. Look what they do to their own people. What do you imagine they'll do to us when we actually face them? Considering we are a sizable military force. In their country while civil war is brewing um think about the consequences if we caught them red-handed as they kill civilians uh, they'd be thrilled to see us there i bet they tell everyone how czechoslovakia legionary shot an honest mill and his family burned the mill and left the food to be destroyed shall we proceed to moscow then as planned or are we expecting trouble we will go to Moscow to pick up my future advisor, Captain Langer. He is currently working to negotiate our safe passes to Vladivostok. Let's hope the negotiations will bear fruit. Indeed, speaking of fruit, since we didn't manage to replenish our supplies, we'll stop at the next station to do so. Dismissed. The journey begins. Go to uh, Sokol Sokolnichi to get more supplies for the long journey. I'm, I'll mispronounce all of these. All right, so here's the world map. We're heading to Moscow. We're slowly making our way. A little choo-choo here. If we go faster... Okay, squads must be deployed. The train stops several dozen of meters before the station. There is another train blocking your path. As you and others exit the train, your group with grave silence and a few rifles aimed in your direction from, ne from near the station. Towards you, a tall Red Army officer is walking, come to you by two soldiers. Greetings, legionaries. My name is Adam Morozov, who is the commander of your unit. Major Gazdik steps off the train and shakes Morozov's hands firmly. You glimpse his other resting on the hilt of his trench knife, a sure sign he smells trouble, and you know he is rarely wrong. Major Adakar Grazdik, I'm a commander of this train. What do I owe the pleasure, General? Marazar betrays a look of mixed amusement and satisfaction, evidently unsure if the Major has recognized his rank by the insignia on his uniform, or though his reputation as a hero of the Great War. A mere coincidence, I was visiting family nearby. Nonetheless, our encounter is most fortunate. I have a proposition, one of mutual interest. What do you want, Marazov? Do tell I'm all yours. Indeed, that's how it should be, my friend, because it is my power to ensure your safe passage through Russia. That is what you want, is it not? All you need to do is hand over your weapons. Give up our weapons to you? I don't think so. You probably use them to shoot us and then burn the entire station to the ground. You are not the first legionaries to pass through here. Your countrymen handed over their weapons without incident. For your soldiers' sake, I do ask or you will regret it. I'm sure you intend to let us be on our merry way, completely unscathed with a full belly and a happy heart. I've said my peace, General. Start shooting or get out of our way. It's your choice. Marzov si stares silently at Gazdik. A few legionaries shift uneasily and unsling their rifles, which now have been shouldered despite the obvious threat. Then Marzov slowly raises his hand and smiles. There is no hint of deception in his expression. He seems at ease, almost pleased. I appreciate your candor, Major. I think we both know where we stand until we meet again. The polite nod, Marzov turns away and followed by his soldiers, he boards the Red's train and departs. Everyone is a bit rattled. Departure of the train reveals the station. They're a disaster. Start the mission. 
All right, let's create the squad. I think we only have five. And we only have five. Um. Oh, yellow stamina. Okay. Okay, cool. That's their stats. None of them have leveled up. A mission to part. Okay. Potential rewards. Mission cost. Something's wrong. It's too quiet here. Move out, yes. but keep your eyes and ears open. Assuming position. Changing location. Finding the Reds left some of the villagers alive. I think they need help. Okay, I'm going. You'll live. Ready as a consider it done. Taking cover. Orders. we we'll Czechoslovak legionaries on our way to Vladivostok. Can you tell us what happened here? The Red Army came for recruits and provisions. We told them to leave, but they just laughed and took whatever they wanted. They killed everyone who resisted. We saw trucks full of artillery shells driving towards the river. My sister lives there. I'm worried sick. Please, help. We came here to trade for supplies, not to get involved in Russian affairs. But the Reds attacked us before, and they are clearly up to no good here. We simply cannot risk the train. So we have to go and find out what is going on. Looks like they sabotaged the bridge. We'll have to fix it to cross. You can find tools and materials in a nearby camp. Right over there. Orders? I'll see to it. Yes, sir. Moving. Okay, I'm going. Enemy spotted! Understood. Moving. Set up an ambush. Ready as I'll ever be. Taking cover. Yes, yes. I'm listening, assuming position. Mm -hmm. Engaging! Orders? I don't see any more of them. I'm waiting. Too good L shape. Taking cover. We kind of set up there. Yes, sir. Combat is a little chaotic for okay. sure. I'm going. The enemy seems to hold a good defensive position with full cover. If we don't have the range or grenades, we'll have to storm their position. Yeah, we're not doing that. I'll see to it. Yes! Assuming position. I'm waiting. Understood. Ready as I'll ever be. Yeah! Keep it! What is it? I think that was the last of them. Mm -hmm. If you say so. Order. I'm going. 
this place is crawling with reds. We should consider remaining undetected for as long as possible. Just please make sure no one fires by accident. Gunshots are not very stealthy. Enemy spotted! Taking cover. Listening, sir? Enemy spotted! Softly does it. Orders? Moving. Rest in hell, comrade. Taking cover. Your orders, sir. Finding cover. Yes. Yes. Your orders, sir. Finding cover. Orders? Taking cover. I'm ready. Yes. On my way. I'm waiting. Your orders, sir. Moving. Yes? Orders, if you say so. Mm hmm. What is it? Finding cover. Ready, moving out. I'll make it. Quick. I'm listening. <laughs> Good. Now that the nasty business is done, Ooh. let's see how bad the situation is. Understood. Found a repair kit. We've got what we need to repair the bridge now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If there's a watchtower around, we should capture it to get a better view of the surrounding area. Taking cover. Should we get the sniper up there? On my way. I'm all ears. Moving. Listening, sir. I'm wait. Okay, I'm going. Yes? Your orders, sir? <laughs> the flag there. Word. Okay, I'm going. It doesn't go faster, okay. Yes? Those must be the trucks used to transport artillery shells. We must stop them. There's nothing a grenade can't stop. Moving. Let's just make sure we're not too close when they explode. Listening, sir. Oh, certainly. Finding cover. Yes. I'm waiting. Assuming position. Finding cover. Yes, I'll see to it. Say the word. Moving. Okay, I'm going. Say the word. Changing location. Orders? Assuming position. Yes, understood. Grenade! Frag out! That bridge looks perfect for an ambush. We should not proceed until we figure out what could await us on the other side. This is true. Does anyone have binoculars? Yes. Yes. Listening, sir. Ah. 
Most certainly. Can I actually get in here? Moving. No. Okay. Understood. Yes, sir. Your orders, sir. Finding cover. Yes. On the move. I'll take a look. Enemy spotted. Bunch of enemies, okay. Oh, they know we're here. They'll be coming for us. Let's set up the machine gun and give them hell. I'm here, as you wish. Listening, sir. I'm ready. Finding cover. Ready? Better option, yes. I'm here. A better option, yes. I'm all ears. Finding cover. Finding cover. Ready. I'll see to it. Yes. If you say so. Deploying. Here they come. Stand your ground. I'm listening. I'm all ears. The rest of them are not stupid enough to come at us after watching their buddies buy on the bridge so let's call in an artillery strike and make those bastards hell yeah brother right here look at her blow we came here to get supplies for our journey Let's get them and leave this place. I feel bad taking the supplies. The Reds must have stolen them from the villagers. The villagers are dead. And we will be too if we don't get moving. I'm ready. I can do that. Let's see what's in it. We can use cloth for uniforms and blankets. We'll be headed deep into Siberia and... And winter is coming. Carry on. Is that ready? Coal. As you say, sir. Good. Orders, Fuel sir. is the most yes. precious resource yes. on our journey. Isn't food our most precious resource? Oh, of course. At the next depot, we should buy a locomotive that runs on say, berries. Sir. Maybe we can also burn sure. berries to keep warm on the train as we cross Siberia. Understood. Ah, I love her. As you wish. Your orders. Yes. Whoever left all this ammo behind must be very proficient with the bayonet. Well, if my machine gun runs out of ammo, it's dead weight. I just call for artillery support. As you wish. Moving. Cool. Your brave resilient soldier successfully completed all the main objectives. Not there yet. Oh, assign medals. Um, the machine gunner was good. Promoted! I like her because she's cool. And the sniper. That's cool. Okay, we did everything, I think. Yes, we did.
couple grenades, medical kit, gained a bunch of stuff. Back on the train, the soldiers discussed the confrontation with Marzov at the station, as well as violence the resident acted against unarmed villagers. Most, though not all, feel that the artillery strike in the resident encampment was justified. Major Gasik is lost in thought. I think the Reds were expecting us, setting a trap, perhaps. But I don't understand is why, and why now. Isn't crap, uh, Captain Langer conducting negotiations in Moscow? He is, but we don't know the outcomes of these negotiations. Everyone, get to your post. I have letters to write, and the train is not going to get us to Moscow by itself. Dismissed. Storm on the horizon. Get, Go to Moscow and meet with Langor, who will serve as an advisor. And new legionaries have joined us. Alfred Krauss... Osbita for Biralova. I'm probably mispronouncing that. And then at Dusan Dekic, who's a worker. I'm not sure what that means. But I have I got a Mosin, a revolver. Well, this isn't one. This is SR A95, a short rifle. 19103 or 1903 okay we've gotten everything here uh train movement to move the train forward the locomotive needs an engineer worker and fuel okay Engineer, worker, okay. available oh we can okay what is the rolls okay is there anything in particular At, oh, an attributes. Okay. What, what is he though? He was in there as a scout. Okay. Oh, that's like consumable stuff. Okay. Oh, hold on. All right, here's our machine gunner. Um. He's a cook. I didn't mean to do that.
Who's idle? He's a worker. Worker. Doctor, worker. Okay. We have workers. I don't know if someone's already on. Is David already on a station? Yes. I don't know if someone's not on a station. Ah, if they're resting, not deployed. Uh, if they're working, they probably need to rest. Okay. Okay, let's depart. Oh, if they're assigned in a squad. They'll tell me that. He's on the cannon post. Okay, so it's not going to actually hurt them to have two rolls. You've been called in the office of Major Gazdik. Captain, you're aware we're low on some of the critical supplies. We've got some in uh, Sulkanichi, uh, but not nearly enough, to, and we have a long way to go. There's a village called Kaluga. Send a squad there and have them buy more food and herbs if they have some. Okay.
Forest and Lakes. I thought there was some that might have. Send these three. I have that trait. Does anyone have that trait? I don't think so. Your people arrive at the village and meeting with the village elder. Welcome soldiers, what brings you here in these trying times? come to trade we need food and herbs to treat the sick and wounded we'll see i'm afraid i have to disappoint you the red army have already taken away all the extra food we had military requisition they said for the good of the state you see but you can visit ella store it's a good lad have something you could use okay now tell us more about the reds i uh, would think that everything would calm down that the great war is over but they recruit and requisition like they are getting ready for another war we don't hear much here but i'm worried Okay. What am I supposed to buy? What do I need? Do I have any herbs? I do. I need them all. And what was the other thing I needed? Both? Wood. Give me like 20 wood of fuel. Give me all your fuel. I guess this is what I need. I feel like I'm gonna miss that. Or recalling the squad is something I forget to do. All aboard. Okay, that does not actually mess with their stamina. Who's the workers in... Do Sans the other one.
Oh, heating. Okay. Suddenly the loud metallic clang echoes through the air and the train begins to slow down. As soon as the engine is broke down, you see Major Gassi coming towards you with a frown on his face. Ouch. Uh, damn thing broke down again, Captain. Assign more workers to fix the load motive. There's no point waiting aimlessly for the repairs to finish. So let's take advantage of that. Send the squad to look for more supplies. We've got a long way to go. Hope we don't have any more surprises today. I don't have a good feeling about the meeting with General Marzov. What are you waiting for, Captain? Let's get to work. Okay. Face. Left side. Let's start this. We're going to assign workers to this. Get Maximilian. And Yosef. For that. I'm going to send a squad over to Mosin's. Abandoned settlements, forest and lakes. Was the same one. Settlements. So Anton is going to go out with one of them. The medic. The forests. Okay. All right, research the area and gather what was usable. Okay. Ouch. What's an ankle? We did get some herbs though, and food. Recall that squad. Put her in recovery. The local motive is now done.
Okay. Okay, I think we have to be aware what we're going to be doing. Rouse and Alfred and Yosef need to be assigned to something. All right, so next episode, we will go into Moscow. We see what Moscow has in store for us because uh, yeah, I feel like this is going to be a fun little playthrough. We'll see if we can get all the way to Vladivostok. So thank you all for joining me. Go and leave a like below, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Later.